Hey, this is your girl Twyla Cole, aka Sister Cole. So you're gonna be cooking with Twyla in the kitchen tonight, okay? This evening or the morning, whenever you're viewing this. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna be doing curry chicken, and I'm gonna show you how I do my curry chicken. And you guys are going to do what? You're going to subscribe, like, and click that button, okay? And you're gonna let me know how. Um, how'd you do when you tried to make this? And you can also let me know how does it look and how's the process and how do you do yours, okay? Um, I like some of you guys, you've been leaving comments, but I need some more comments. Come on. If you enjoy the videos, just let a sister know. Let Sister Cole know, like, girl, I love the video or I don't like the video or whatever, but just let me know that you know you're watching, okay? All right, so these are the ingredients that I will be using tonight, okay? My little um, grandbaby, can they see the board? Mm -hmm. All right, so I have green peppers, I have thyme, and I have onions, okay? And I also have my potatoes and carrots cut up, all right? And of course, I have my curry powder right here. This is called um, Jamaican curry powder, Blue Mountain Country, but you can use any uh, curry powder that you want. And, um, you know, everybody always come up with their favorite, so you try and see which one you want. And this right here is garlic powder, all right? This is bo Bogopa uh, curry powder. This right here is all spice, angel brand, pimento seeds is what my husband called it, all right? And like I told you guys before, that onion powder, bam, get into it, baby. Don't forget your onion powder because your onion powder wakes up food, as I always say. And, of course, I got that good old Maggie all-purpose seasoning. All right, well, this one right here is the chicken flavor. That's that Maggie. So you have to have these things. So those are the ingredients. Um, I will also be putting um, some... Garlic, a whole, you know, some garlic and ginger, which I failed to take out at this time. But garlic and ginger, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, this is my chicken that I had cut up already. Um, these are all chicken thighs, actually. So I've cut them up already, all right. And I am going to be adding my dry seasonings to this bowl. You know, this is a this today is Friday the 11th, August the 11th, and I'm not I'm not gonna hold you guys, but it is um, hot. Today reached up to like 11. I mean 11. Today reached up to like um, 90 degrees, maybe 100. And when I tell you it is hot outside, it is hot. I am literally baking. Okay, right here, this is the garlic powder. But you see what I do? The love that I have for you guys, that I'm coming on and I'm sitting up here cooking in 90 and 100 de degrees weather. And right now I'm sweating a river. I am sweating a river. So I put in my curry already, my garlic, and now I'm going to put the onion. Now I'm putting a Genesis, a Genesis. Lord, I can't talk, it's the heat. But I'm putting a generous amount of the dry seasons on because I want my chicken to be flavorable. And you know, you add water and stuff. So you can't be scared of the seasoning, honey. You've got to put the season on. And as you learn to cook, you will know how to gauge, okay? And you cook, you put in what you, what your family, how you eat. Because, you know, some, I know that people, you know, may be watching their diets or you may on low sodium diet or whatever the case may be. So you have to adjust this to your liking, okay? But make sure you don't taste all the, uh, take away all the taste. Because there's nothing like some, um, you know, food that don't have any taste. Nobody don't want to eat that. They lying to you. They lying to you if they say it's good because it's not, okay? So now I'm going to get... I had to step away from the camera for a second. And I'm going to get my Maggie. I had one opened already. All right, so I'm adding that as well. All right, so just know, just know, I'm about to put a hurting on this meat. I'm about to slay this meal. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. All right, I'm about to slay this chicken right here. 
Now let me tell you, you gotta put love into your food, all right? When you're cooking, I uh, notice I got my gloves on today. Um, the reason why is because curry will mess you up. I mean, if you got if your nails is done, if you're a person who do um, have your nails done, please put a glove on but when you're working with curry, because if you don't, it will mess up your nails. And I have on white. My nails are white and, and acrylic and baby girl, baby boy. I can't afford to mess up my nails. Not the money they charging out here. So I got to make sure I preserve, preserve. All right. So again, if you don't put love into your food, then your food is going to, it's not going to taste good. Okay. Even when it comes down to mixing the ingredients on your meat, you see how this, I'm not playing with this. I am actually making sure that every piece of meat, every piece of meat have seasoning on it, all right? So that every bite that a person takes, take, they're going to taste the seasoning, all right? You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, y'all scared, you're scared of seasoning. All right, I put, this is a little pepper. I got a little pepper to put on there. Not a whole lot because you don't want, uh, you know, like maybe a teaspoon. You don't want to sit there and make it taste like black pepper. That's another thing. Some people want like to add a little steam to their food and they add too much black pepper. And then the, then the uh, black pepper, it over flavors all the other flavor that you have in your meat. And then it just tastes uh, like black pepper. And I don't, want to, I don't want to bite into a spoon of black pepper. And neither does nobody else. So wake up. Get the information. Get these gems I'm dropping, okay? All right, so you're mixing up your meats. All right, so before we put on the chicken, what we're doing right now is called um, browning the curry. So we're going to brown some curry in the pot. All right, so the next step is going to add the seasoned chicken inside of the pot. Okay? Yeah. Now, you notice I'm using the Dutch pot. I always use the Dutch pot because the Dutch pot is the truth. The Dutch pot is the truth. That's another a tip to good cooking is to have a good pot. You see the little, them little thin cheap pots? That's not going to work. That's not going to do your food, your meat, no justice. Every time I cook meat, I cook it inside the Dutch pot because the Dutch pot is old cast iron. And it makes, you know, your food don't get burnt. Your chicken, I'm telling you, you can make the best fried chicken in these pot. Any meat, anything that you're doing, get yourself an old Dutch pot. You know what I'm saying? This is what the slaves used to use. <laughs> get into it. Get into it. This is what the slaves used to use. You understand? When they thought that, that they was giving the slaves everything that was bad, honey, they was blessing us. <laughs> Get into it, baby girl, baby boy. These pots are the best. These pots are the best. So you're gonna put your, you put that. Now this right here is called browning. I am browning the meat because you don't want no big old white piece of meat up in your pot. I'm talking about you. You got curry chicken. You cannot have no big piece of white meat up in your pot. No, you have to brown the meat, give it color. So that when it's all said and done, you have a beautiful, beautiful um, colored chicken. Okay? So you're going to let that stay on for about a good, about 15 minutes. All right, so at this point, I go back into the pot. All right? And um, I added my vegetables in there, the onions, the thyme, and the... Um, green peppers, and I also added about 10 allspice of uh, little, the, the berry inside of that, okay? And I turned it on like eight, and I'm gonna put my top over so it can simmer. All right, I'll be back. So now I'm gonna add in the potatoes, the carrots, onions. Um, I, I, I had also put in a scotch bonnet pepper. I'm not gonna cut it or burst it because I don't want the chicken like hot, hot but I want it to be, you know, spicy. Okay, so you guys see what I did? I added the potatoes and the carrots and I'm gonna also add a little bit more water because my water kinda went down a little bit. So I added a little bit more water in there. You guys see it? 
Oh boy, I got a pot of white rice for one too. Oh, I need to add some water for that too. All right, so now I want, you see the water? I don't want a whole lot of water, but I was just, I added enough water just so it can just cover um, the potatoes and the carrots, you know? And then I'll put the top on it so it can steam. So the vegetables and stuff can steam. So it can steam. So I put the top back on. And now I cut it on low. Okay? I cut it on a lot, you know, like maybe on three. Alright? Okay. Because I want the chicken. You're not going to 